got uh, done hiking the sink line loop and one night in the back country which is the primo length for being in the back country one or two nights because you can eat well drink well hike and well sleep well yeah one night two nights max for starters for sure yeah yeah so we want to give a little backcountry 101 about the gear that we have uh obviously if people are hiking the pct they'll probably have less gear than we do yeah the longer you go the less you can bring but then you don't eat couscous with onions and peppers and all sorts of really mm. nice food yeah you so don't let's, let's have a little look so we just dump the bags for you and then re and then repack them because yeah. we're going back out <laughs> so this is my bag i'll do mine first it's a 60 liter bag uh it's good for i'd say pretty much all excursions except really long ones um on the outside, I have this solar power charged uh, inflatable. It inflates a lantern, uh, a map, compass. We often don't have those, but we did in this occasion. Uh, and a toothbrush. Got to have the toothbrush. Yeah, man. I keep that. It. Like oral hygiene cannot wait. No, it, it, you can't don't put it on hold. It. Yeah. No. If anything, you step up your game when you're back. Look at those pockets. So a couple little waist pockets. Handy. This one always has a spare knife. Usually I have one in my pocket, but if I forget, I've got the Swiss Army. Yeah. Uh, it comes complete with the bottle opener. Perfect. Ideal. For wine. Uh, the other waist pocket, I keep the other necessities. Which is a headlamp, head torch, uh, and I keep a lighter and matches. Yeah. In case you can make a fire, that's a good way to do it, is to have a lighter <laughs> yeah. or matches. Some sort of lighting mechanism. Uh, some water at the ready. Uh, this bag has two top pockets. And this one I keep uh, this little survival book, which I never read, but I always bring it. Uh, toilet paper and hand sanitizer in case you gotta, you gotta use that. There's a big truck. Wait truck. for it. Uh, sleeping mask, which I never use. But <laughs> so your bag's full of stuff that you never use. Yeah, uh, tape, because you never know when you're gonna need that, and some spare tent stakes. And then in the lower pocket, tiny towel in case you gotta go swimming. Uh, shovel to go with the toilet paper and the sanitizer for. Or for some gardening if you want to do some gardening. Yeah, whilst you're out maybe about. do a little irrigation while yeah. you're out there. Dig a trench. Um, in emergency water situations, I have an emergency straw filter thing and some tablets for filtering water. Uh, 100 feet or 50 feet of cord, mm -hmm. in case you need a clothesline or hang oh, yourself. Yeah, yeah, gotta have some cord here, <laughs> top yourself. Uh, uh, and some hand warmers. If your feet get really cold, you can throw us in your sleeping bag. Yeah, or in your gloves or whatever. Or wherever. for your hands, yeah. yeah. But they're not, you know, you shouldn't single them out. Uh, and then there's this little mesh pouch here which has dental hygiene, goes with the toothbrush. Uh, and then I've got some matches, some fire starter things if mm -hmm. you ever need them. And some clothes pins in case we want to hang our clothes. Yeah. And it's windy. Or if it's smelly somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and a spare plastic bag. Always good to have a spare ziplock. Spare ziplock, yeah. yeah. It's good to have a spare uh, plastic shopping bag for garbage. Yeah. So, so much so. Oh, that's what, that's what there's this is. garbage. Garbage. Let's, let's just ditch that. Yep. <laughs> nature. Yeah, deal with it, nature. All right, um, some well, gloves. This is the this is the cooking bag. It's got isobutane gas. Uh, this is my little cooking set. Oh yeah. Which has a pot and a saucepan and then the little stove that screws onto this, uh, it nests in here. And there's also a, a little cup, which I didn't yeah. bring, but normally it's I do. It's a very handy, solid stove. It's a Boy Works Scout. A treat. Yep. Extra bowl, uh, a little cutting board. Oh yeah. Uh, these are nice to have, a wooden spoon and a spatula. Yep. Again, one or two nights out in the back country. Bring it. Luxury. Yeah, and some tiny little uh, forks and spoons just from wherever. We broke the fork last night, unfortunately. Yeah, that's why it's good that's to have metal. Yeah, yeah. Metal don't yeah. break. Um, and what I don't have is, you should have a six inch 
folding knife, that nest in itself, that's really good to have for cooking. A yeah. six inch knife. It'll cut a tomato, bread. It's good to have a six yeah. inch knife. Yeah. And all that goes in a bag. Um, we brought a gallon jug of water. Another truck. This jug has been with us for about two months. Before, yeah, FYI. this is a good jug. Yeah. Solid plastic. And it was great iced tea as well, unsweetened. That's the key. I don't think it's BPA free, but who's yeah, at this point who's counting. for sure BPA free. We got yeah. rid of the BPA. This is a sleeping bag. So let's do the basics quick. Food, clothing, shelter. Yeah. So food, you bring some food. Yeah. Clothes, you got And you obviously some plan you know, you have to plan it out depending on how long you're gonna be in the back country, you know. Meals, not only obviously breakfast, lunch, dinner, but snacks as well that you're gonna need to keep you going depending on how long you're hiking. Yeah. Water, availability of water. Yep. So you'll need a filter or some tablets or whatever, depending on if there's any streams. The hike we just did, there was very little access to national to like water sources. Yep. So uh, basically, so we had we took more than enough water to be safe. But you can safe. you could easily go through a gallon a day per person, and you got to factor in cooking. So you boil your stuff, you make tea, yep. you make hot cocoa. And then you just drink water. So between all of that, a gallon a day is not outlandish. Cooking, cleaning, drinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tooth brushing. So I have a down sleeping bag. Go with the down. Don't mess you're around. You're gonna unpack that for a second. Nah. Maybe. Sleeping pad. It stuffs into like that size. Uh, notepad for writing. Book for reading. Luxuries. Yeah. One night out, people. Uh, okay, clothing. Rain jacket. In case it rains, or it's just yeah, another good layer. extra layer, windy. Yeah. Wind, it's a yeah. wind layer. We're in the desert. Uh, a fleece, you know, whatever. A fleece. Yeah. Um, layers. All about layers, people. A hat to go along with the gloves. Uh, this is a wool, like, base layer. So this and the fleece and the jacket were on last night, and it was like 50 degrees, 40 degrees. I was happy to have all of them. A uh, pair of shorts for sleeping, if you, yeah. you know, you don't, or basketball, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra pair of underwear, unnecessary. <laughs> Unused. Unused, never used. Uh, and then this is my ridiculously large water filter. It's a pump water filter. I don't know if you can see that. You pump it and it threads onto an algae bottle. And then the filtered water comes out of a stream or a lake and goes into the algae. And I did have the green cup. Ha ha! This is an algae bottle onto which the water filter water goes. Water filter. And I had the small cup the whole oh, time, all along. It had escaped. We okay. drank out of a saucepan. Yeah, you know. so that's my bag, Tom. Cool. What have you got? All right, well, first thing is the exterior. I have a 60 liter uh, pack as well, like Bryce. Show the people. There you go. Blue you color. Go, Blue color. Osprey, named after a bird. Big bird. So I've got that. Um, first things first, got my uh, pretty all right solid Kelty um, Salida 2, which is a two person tent. Pretty decent, doesn't weigh that much, certainly not top of the range, costs like 100 and whatever, 30 bucks or something like that. Pretty solid, all that you need. Um, after that, I've got a cloth, always need a cloth. Um, I've got a full thing of water to go with the other water. You see, this is all spare, just in case. Gotta have it. If it would have been 20 degrees hotter, that water. Yeah, got it. I've got another water uh, container, oh, just nice. in case, a platypus made in Seattle. I have some extra sort of ropey, hangy-uppy kind of things, you oh, know, yeah. compress Chums. things, hang things up, do what you need to do. My little, I've also got these little waist pockets, pretty handy. Carry a knife. Oh, it's Whoa, a little sandy right now. That one will get you, that's like yeah, a, little, yeah. Yeah, a little two inch blade. <sighs> Must be sand in that pocket, because it's a little sandy it's right sand now. Pocket, yeah. And the last, I last use it to cut banana. Oh yeah, bananas aren't sandy by nature. No, exactly. Uh, what else have we got? Other hip pocket, currently only have, did have the car keys, a mobile telephone, and it's got some extra lip balm. Got to be ready. 
I gotta say, right. your bag is a good quality bag. It's a better bag than mine. It is, yeah, it's solid. Solid quality. I like the straps on the front. Yeah, you can it's put, good. This, yeah, yeah. Put stuff on it. Top pocket right here. Got a, uh, got a beanie, bit of a hat, you know. Got to keep warm. And then basically, oh, we've got our backcountry permit. Got to get your permit. Here we are, permit number 20158733. Trip leader agreement, backcountry use, regs, all of that. Get your permit, people. Rules, people. Uh, and then, basically, I have toiletries. Ha! <laughs> One night in the backcountry. Sure. Electro toothbrush. Sure. <laughs> Oral hygiene. Doesn't rest. And then I have contact lenses, so it's all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. You know what the deal is. Then, on the inside, Pandora's box here little like pocket of all the important things headlamp wallet for some reason compass another sort of strappy thing strap things Swiss army knife so many knives and yet another strap that I think is broken that should go that's got to go oh, that one yeah, yeah that can go later and then huh Going in, sun cream. I think my mum bought this sun cream about 15 years ago. It still works. Still effective. So sun cream and bug spray, good to have if there are bugs. Bag O food. Oh yeah, bring me that. Yeah. So yeah, we now we planned out a uh, oh and another one, Mustang. Oh Mustang. All right, that's a new Mustang. So. We planned out um, two day, so lunch, sam oh we had sandwiches before we left and then we had nice dinner, couscous and vegetables for dinner, uh, onions, peppers, zucchini, and then we had oatmeal for breakfast with tea and we had peanut butter and um, banana wraps on the way, we got some trail mix and we've got a bit of food left over kind of thing. Yeah. And we ate a lot last night. We'll do a future episode on food but but uh, yeah, bring plenty. Hoodie. Good old hoodie. Wearing that most of the time. Bag cover. Needed that to cover the bag last night. Down layer. Absolutely sweet. Will keep you so warm. Don't mess around. Buy down. Just that and this t-shirt sorted. <laughs> A New Yorker because the intellect also doesn't grow itself. <laughs> and my journal. Sleeping pad. Nice marmot sleeping bag, couple hundred bucks, solid, like, uh, whoa. Worth uh, it. You know, down, all the rage. Down. Can't do it. Get down. Down like a clown. And then this is my little gear bag. This is, well, aside from the uh, hoodie and uh, down layer, these are, these are all my clothes, which again is too much. Kind of like insulated pants, perfect. Disco pants. Uh, towel slash general thing, really handy. Little cotton thing. Wind layer slash rain layer. Spare pair of pants, unused. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Ladies and gentlemen, that is. Now we've just got gear everywhere. Yeah, so now we got to repack. Because <laughs> we are going out again. One greetings, more night. greetings from Canyon Lands and. Good luck in the backcountry. Yeah, pack light, hike fast.